All new at six, when you think of businesses most impacted by COVID-19, you think of restaurants, bars, and tourist attractions, but how about dry cleaners? Some have taken a huge hit now that so many people are working from home. CBS 4's Hank Tester has more. Frank Lopez operates three dry cleaning stores in West Miami Day. Main store and plant here, Coral Way and 78th Avenue. He used to run his cleaning machines five days a week. Now, three days a week, sometimes less. At the beginning, we were down 90%. Like right now, we are down like 50 to 60%. That's been the COVID-19 impact on the dry cleaning business. Nationwide, same story. When COVID hit mid-March, people sheltered in. The bottom fell out. Few dress shirts, suits, dresses, office work attire as offices closed and people worked from home, working in casual clothes, washable. And then, to add to the dry cleaning woes, people, young and old, not going out. Many still are not. There is no parties, no weddings. And people, I mean, most of the people are not going to the restaurants. The front season will be all busy. There was no problem this year. Nationwide in good times, the dry cleaning business generates $9.2 billion in revenue. There are or were 32,000 dry cleaning shops in the U.S. Now that number is dropping rather quickly. 30 and 40 percent of the dry cleaners in the United States are going down. I mean, they're closed already. And a lot of a lot of dry cleaners are going go, they're going to go out of business. Here, like in right here in Miami, I know between five, six, seven, eight dry cleaners went out of business completely. They shut down. Frank has reduced staff hours, staggered hours of operation to help keep expenses down. The two satellite operations on Bird Road are open, maintaining close to regular hours. But what's the future? Oh, we are not going to come, come back to the office until January, maybe February. They don't know yet. Futurists predict that when the pandemic subsides, many in the workforce will continue at home by choice or by employer mandate. Not a pretty picture for the dry cleaning industry. In a recent survey conducted by Cisco, the tech giant, 87% of remote workers said they'd like to have the option of staying at home. I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News.